Hello all. Um, today, I decided to go and get the iPhone 13 Pro. Um, yeah, like I have the iPhone 11, and I actually love the iPhone 11 so much, but I bought 64 gigabytes and originally, and I'm getting close to um, finishing my in phone storage on it. And you guys know I vlog and record a lot of videos. And so after about two years, I was like, it's time to either get another iPhone 11 bigger gigabyte um, phone or just go ahead and get the iPhone 13. So after comparing the phone specs and comparing prices, it took hours to do because I like to get a good deal and get a good bug for my bang, good bang for my buck. Um, I decided to go with the iPhone 13. I went online and there was back order online. Uh, and so I was like, let me just go to a Verizon store and see if they have it in stock. So I went to one Verizon store, they did not have it in stock. Then I went to a second one and they did have it in stock. And so long story short, I went between that Verizon and Best Buy to see uh, what would give me a better deal. And long story shorter, um, Best Buy would just do the same thing that Verizon does. So I just went back to Verizon and got the iPhone 13. I got the Sierra blue one. Um, I'm excited, blue's my favorite color. I now have the purple um, lavender iPhone 11. And I wish that they carried that in this color because I actually really like the lavender. But I decided to go with the blue. We're gonna change it up a little bit. And without further ado, I'm gonna unbox it. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. So here's the box, it opens very well. Um, you have the iPhone 13 Pro here. Let me take the paper off on the front. Um, yeah, we have the iPhone 13 Pro right here. Pretty cute. There's a nice feeling on the back. Um, you have the regular, you know, standard buttons, your alarm, then your volume buttons, and then your power button right here. Um, it reminds me of the iPhone, I believe was it iPhone five. Um, and I don't know how I feel about the thickness. I really love the, the sleek thinness of the iPhone 11. And so, but the iPhone 13 does feature a very, very, very new and upgraded camera, which I am looking forward because I do modeling and photography and you guys know, uh, vlogs, so videography as well. So I'm excited for that. So here's the kind of like the external specs of the iPhone 13 Pro. And then you kind of just get your regular, I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh shoot, designed by. Oh, and here is the, if you, if you can see it, that's what, it's like a tool to open up the SIM card slot on your phone. Then you have the charger cable. Um, it's a lightning charger, but like it's from a, I believe this connects to, like if you have your MacBook, you could plug this into your MacBook. Um, so, but I already have a lightning charger, chargers. So I'm not too concerned about this part. So yeah, um, let me turn the phone on. Awesome, so now my phone has got the data that was transferred over from my old phone. Um, as you can see, it's loading a bunch of apps and getting its life back together. So yeah, so um, I'm really excited. I'm really excited for the camera, so let's actually try out the camera. So you can see, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Like I, I, I like how this camera has macro, so you can get like really close into objects. And what I've heard about is the cinema, uh, what's it called? The cinematic video. I really have nothing to test it on right now, so that might be a later video. Um, so stay tuned. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to be a part of America. Oh, here it goes, like cinematic view. Like how it um, kind of blurs the background. So if like you can see like right here as it lifted off of the table, the background is blurred. But then if 
uses automation to blur in the background so i plan on making some really nice videos with this so yeah so cool all right y'all well here's the iphone 13 pro thank you guys so much for watching the video and um love you guys talk to you guys soon crowns up bless up peace out Shh.